Welcome to the session. In this lecture, we'll discuss about Darlington configuration. In last classes, uh, we discussed uh, about the various configurations of BJT, like common base, common emitter, and common collector. And we have seen the uh, specific uh, characteristics in the sense input resistance, output resistance, and gain of all these three configuration. Um, but in today's class, we look at uh, variant of common collector configuration known as Darlington configuration. Uh, so we know that in common collector configuration input resistance is very high. Uh, this offers high input resistance. Uh, but the bias resistor of this common collector may sometimes reduce this input resistance and therefore in some specific applications where we need to uh, get some very high input resistance we may use a configuration uh, where we cascade to common collector configurations or cascade to emitter follower configuration. So that is nothing but this Darlington uh, pair or Darlington configuration we are using two common collectors in cascade. So the circuit diagram uh, will be cascade of common collector. So when we say common collector, collector is common and input is applied to uh, base and output is taken from emitter. Since it is a cascade of two common collectors, this output should uh, go to the base of next transistor. And this collector will become common terminal and this can be connected to VCC or suitably we can bias using resistors. And from this point we need to take the output. So I am connecting a resistor here. Since it is an emitter, I am connect, calling it as RE and from here. I'll take the output V out. So this is transistor Q1 and this is transistor Q2. So in this lecture, we'll uh, analyze voltage gain, input resistance and output resistance of this Darlington pair. So that we'll do by drawing the small signal equivalent circuit. Before that, we'll uh, mark the currents in the circuit. This is IB1 and this is IE1 and I can write this current IE1 as beta1 plus 1 into IB1. Again this IE1 is same as IB2. So IB2 uh, is the base current of second transistor and this is your emitter current IE2. So I can write IE2 as beta2 plus 1 into I B2 or in turn I can write this as beta 2 plus 1 into I B2 is same as I E1 so it is beta 1 plus 1 into I B1 so that is your I E2. So with this uh, currents we will uh, directly draw the equivalent circuit of the common collector uh, sorry this Darlington configuration and we will analyze the uh, parameters like voltage gain. Uh, input resistance and output resistance. So we know the equivalent circuit of a transistor um, with beta plus 1 Re as the input resistance when we look at base and this is emitter and this is your uh, sorry this is your uh, current beta Ib and this is so this is your model small signal model for the transistor now we will draw the equivalent circuit as per this model so from base uh, collector is anywhere common the collector point is common so from base it is going to emitter so this I will mark as base 1 this beta 1 plus 1 into re1 to show that these are the parameters of the first transistor and this is actually emitter 1 but emitter 1 and base 1 are same from emitter 1 towards ground I have the current source since collector is common here uh, the current direction is beta 1 i b 1 and the current flowing here is again i b 1 now uh, again a base 1 so from base to emitter again another resistor it is beta 2 plus 1 into r e 2 uh, there comes your next uh, the point that is emitter e 2 so this is b 2 and this is e 2 and from there uh, another current source that is beta 2 i b 2 and from here uh, 
this resistor is re and this is your final output v out yeah now uh, we we'll analyze this so before that i'll just mark this as my input voltage output voltage and if you look at the uh, various currents you can see that um, the currents flowing here are yeah this is ib1 so this becomes your um, ie1 so we have written all the currents there okay now yeah the final current flowing through re is nothing but i e2 yeah so with that we'll uh, start analyzing the circuit first we'll write v out v out is nothing but directly i can write v out is i e2 into re or if i want to write in terms of input current i e2 is beta 2 plus 1 into beta 1 plus 1 into i b1 into re that is your v out let it be equation number 1 now similarly if i want to write v in if you look at this uh, v in is actually the voltage between this point and ground so i can write the voltage uh, from this point to ground as the sum of the voltage drop across the resistors beta 1 plus uh, beta 1 plus 1 into re1 beta 2 plus 1 into re2 and this re so if you look at this i can highlight over here if you look here uh, v in is actually the v in is basically is the sum of the drop across this resistor this one and this one so with that when we write the equation i can write v in as so here v in is equal to so here v in is equal to if i write v in that is equal to i b 1 into beta 1 plus 1 into r e 1 into i b 1 plus beta 2 plus 1 into r e 2 into uh, that is actually the second yeah it is i b 2 plus i e 2 into r e now uh, we can write this entire equation by substituting for i b 2 as well as i e 2 if i do that if i substitute for i b 2 and i e 2 i will get this equation now to write voltage gain AV, it is equal to V out by V in. So, uh, if I uh, do this ratio, if I take the ratio of these two, I will get it as beta 2 plus 1 into beta 1 plus 1 into IB1 into RE on the numerator upon beta 1 plus 1 into RE1 IB1 plus beta 2 plus 1 into re2 into beta 1 plus 1 into ib1 plus beta 2 plus 1 into re so from here uh, you can see that you can cancel ib1 uh, from numerator and denominator and even you can cancel beta 2 plus 1 uh, and beta beta 1 plus 1 you can cancel these two from here here and here what will come if i cancel that that means beta 2 plus 1 will come in the denominator so if i write that i can write this as equal to re divided by uh, yeah first i'll write okay i'll write this one re1 by this will cancel so re1 by beta 2 plus 1 plus re2 plus re this is nothing but the voltage gain of a darlington pair <coughs> now uh, now we have a so voltage gain is expression is given by this uh, this one now if i want to write the input resistance r in Rn is nothing but V in by I in. Here V I uh, I in is nothing but I B1. So you can directly write this from this equation. If you look at this equation directly, you can write your V in by I B1 as uh, beta 1 plus 1 into R E1 uh, plus beta 2 plus 1 into 
R e two into beta one plus one, and plus the last term is beta two plus one into beta one plus one into R e. This is your R e equation. So <clears throat> again here, if you do some uh, rearrangement, this term will be same. From second and third term, I can take beta two plus one and beta one plus one as common. So you'll get R e two plus R e. If you do uh, some, if I uh, if I neglect this one, so I can write this as beta one R e one plus beta two beta one. R e two plus R e, or finally I can write this equal to beta two beta one R e as the uh, significant component, right? So that is all about R in, and you can find R out also. R out is so I'll write R out as so from the uh, equivalent circuit uh, you can observe what is R out. R out is the Resistance in the output terminal. So output terminal we already have a resistance R e. So what I'll do is I'll write R out as R out is nothing but I'll write R out as R e parallel to the resistance seen at the output terminal. That is nothing but R out dash. And now I'll remove this R e from the output. I'll short the input to ground. Connect a test voltage. And I'll try try to find V test by I test. That is nothing but your R out dash, right? So I'll do the same thing there. Hmm. So R out is R e parallel to R out dash. Now how to find R out dash is directly from V test by I test. For that I'll short the input. The resistance is beta one. Plus one into R one. A current source. Next resistor is beta two plus one into R e two. Other current source. And I remove the load resistor and I am connecting a test voltage V t, which is giving current of high test. And uh, since the current is in this, I am marking all the currents in this direction. This is your beta one I B one, and this is beta two I B two. Now, if I look at the uh, currents here, this current and this one. So your I test is directly. I E two. And now this current is your I B two, and this is your I B one. Now uh, the aim is to find V test by I test. So if I write V test, I can write V test as the drop across these two resistors. Uh, so I can write it as I B one into beta one plus one into R E one plus IB2. Again, I can write IB2 in terms of IB1. So uh, when I do that, I can write IB2 in terms of IB1 is beta1 plus 1 into IB1 multiplied by beta2 plus 1 into RE2. That is V test. Now similarly, uh, I test is here IE2. Where your IE2 is, when I write in terms of uh, IB1, that is the first equation we have written: beta2 plus 1 into beta1 plus 1 into IB1. So to get V test by I test, you can divide these two equations. So IB1 will get cancelled. Uh, again, beta1 plus 1 in. You can do this uh, calculation, and you will get it as. R e two plus R e one by beta two plus one. If you do this division, you will get that. V uh, test by I test is R e two plus R e one by beta one plus one, beta two plus one. Now your R out is nothing but R e parallel to this value. R e two.